In this video, we're going to take this high handicap golfer's game back to basics. And we're going to do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we're going to go back to basics, mate. I think we need to. So for people who are new to the channel, this is Mr. Fox or Foxy, 26, Six. 26 handicap. And we've been doing a little series, haven't we, with these guys, the guys at ShotScope, locating GPS. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the stats, so I'm a PGA professional, Fox is a 26 handicap. We're missing a lot of greens, we're missing a lot of fairways, so we're going to take it back to basics in this episode. And we've actually already played golf today, this morning, and we've looked at a few things which have made a big difference, haven't we? Yeah. So we're going to play a couple of holes, we're going to talk you guys through it, and guys, if you find this video helpful for your game, hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, and comment below and leave Foxy a few words of support. Cheers, guys. So where are we going to kick things off? We're on the tee, we're going to play uh, a couple of holes like we said, and the big thing in basics is posture and stance. Posture and stance. So you pick your club mate for this hole and we're going uh, to move forward with that. So when we talk about stats as well and we talk about going back to basics, basically what I mean by that is Fox's ball striking hasn't progressed at the rate as maybe your short game has and other parts of your game has. So what we've worked out, Fox, is that you hit, and statistically you hit a lot of shots that way. Four right. To the right. Yeah. But as we've looked at videos and as we've looked at your game, you actually aim that way it was, a little it, bit it, it's I'll sh well we'll show you exactly what, yeah and, what, and that's not that wasn't the be all and end all but also if you want to step up to this ball foxy and get into a position where maybe you were before yeah so uh, just as i was before i think i'm thinking i'm aiming aim it for post there yeah so we can all see that post just in the fairway I there think, i'm thinking there we go to be fair i'm just lining myself up with with, with t markers really and actually when i sit and think about it put that down there and come back and have a look yeah and that's something which we looked at heavily that's actually better but they that's were better. aiming oh, uh, over I'm, yonder I'm, I'm miles miles right yeah and then another thing we've done is actually giving yourself a little bit more room standing a little bit further away yeah and we, we have touched on that in lessons in the past myself and you yeah but just making sure that you're not blocking yourself out you're not getting your own way and you have more room to turn it's just that it's just coming back to you just to that setup just setting up right into it yeah so i'll let you tee off fox and we'll go at the uh, at the post and there's nothing wrong at this time of year with maybe getting a club out and just helping yourself with alignment if you are going back to basics like we're doing make sure that you have something that's where you would have been so that's where i'm thinking i'm thinking now that's for me that's that that's middle and that's perfect that perfect yeah there no sorry it was perfect it was perfect there so even there, even still i'm still a little bit off and maybe a little bit too much okay yeah there. make sure your toes are in line with that yeah give yourself that extra little bit of room we should give dalton some credit for this as well because yeah. um dalton noticed this when we we're playing golf today didn't he, he said yeah. you've got enough room with your arms yeah but i'm bunching myself up here instead of give yourself a bit more a bit more of an athletic stance that looks really good and away we go right send it how goes that that is so good. I'm going to put a shot tracer on that as well. And you see the big thing here. Now, that was a little bit cutty. It's actually suiting the hole really well. So you've actually, that's probably the best t-shirt you've ever hit on this hole, isn't it? It's a bit cutty, but it's just my first swing. It's your first swing. But also, the big thing we're trying to do here is improve his ball striking. I'm going to play that strike back because that was phenomenal. Let's get down there. Let's see where it is. And let's continue this progression of going back to basics. I was going to say, that's another thing as well, really. Normally... Normally, there's normally a big great divot somewhere normally, like it's here. It normally yeah. starts here and ends there. <laughs> and it's just, just, just brushed tea. And a bit of a slug. Yeah. Bit, bit. So guys, as we walk down this first hole, get in the comments below and let us know, is there anything you're working on in your game? Is there anything that maybe you could do with keeping stats with? So during the off-season like we're doing now, you could maybe try and enhance that, try and improve it. Get your handicap down and just play some better golf. We just want to hit more fairways and greens, mate, don't we? Yeah, we do because you put in stats are on the up, the short game stats are on the up, and we even got up and down out of a bunker the other day, so. Right, Fox, in the middle of the fairway, that was a, a lovely tee shot, and you've probably left yourself around, flags at the front, probably 100 yards in here. I'll tell you how much I've got. Ooh, shot scope V3. Ooh. So, just a couple of yards away, 90, probably say 95 front edge. Yep. 
I'd say I was bang on there, in fairness. I'd, yeah, but I'd, I'd, have, I'd have said I meant maybe a little. So one of the big things here, we're going back to basics and hopefully improving your ball striking. Obviously, distance control can become better, it can become stronger, and that's going to allow you to hopefully hit more greens as well. Yeah. As fairways like we are doing. Have you got a gap wedge here? I've got, yeah, a little 52. We're aim for, aim for middle, hopefully. Yeah, middle of the, middle of the green two putts, mate, and you're away, aren't you? Yeah. How's that looking? Good, and you can maybe creep a little bit further away. It's always important when you're doing something like this, you probably need to over-exaggerate it a little bit or you're not maybe making the change. People will agree in the comments, it looks way, because you would normally be there where That's you are where now. I'd normally be, yeah. But you look way more athletic here. Yeah, I just feel like I'm, I've just squatted a little bit better with my yeah. knees. So it's maybe going to be a little bit more difficult to maintain your posture and maintain uh, your balance. But one thing we've always worked on is that weight transfer. Hopefully that's going to make this easier as well. You've just creeped a bit closer to the ball there. Good man. Oh, that is lovely. It's fading a bit. Is it long enough? Yep, it is long enough. And that is a chance. It's better, isn't it? Very good. So whilst we're touching on going back to basics and whilst we're touching on kind of simplifying it a little bit, one of the big things that Foxy has always maybe needed to work on is rhythm. Sometimes it gets a little bit quick. If you have given yourself that little bit extra room, it makes it easier to have a nice compact rhythm and a consistent rhythm. It's yeah. all about being consistent. You can see there, you've hit a nice, was it a seven iron off the first tee? Yeah, nice seven, yeah. And then you've hit a gap wedge into, well, there. And let's be fair, off 26, even you'd do well to mess that up from there. I'll have a go. <laughs> so easy to talk about the basics with a putter. We need to do a little bit of work with Chris, really, with the putting, don't we? We have done some stuff on distance control before, which actually you're doing really well with, and that's really why we've not touched on it too much. We're getting better, we're getting, we we're, were leaving a hell of a lot short, weren't I? I just feel like I'm getting it. Just... Yeah, and again, to go back to the shot scope stuff we have been working on, it was a lot of short putts, wasn't it? It was a lot of yeah. just not getting anywhere near the hole. We worked on distance control, and we also look at the tour averages from a distance like this. We're about 20 feet away, maybe 18 feet away. So the PGA Tour average percentage make from here, or make percentage if I get that right, to be about 15%. We're not looking to essentially make this. We're looking just not to three put, two put, get out with a par and move that's on. That's all we want. Very good. Tiny bit short, so that's another one for the stats, isn't it? But not too, it's nearly, it's just about there. We'll just like more line than anything like that. Well then, that's a good part and we shall move on. Moving on to a slightly longer hole here, and you can't really hit an iron off here. You could do, but you'd be leaving yourself quite a long way in. So we're going to probably hit a three wood here, would we? Three wood, or maybe a hybrid. Yeah, yeah, three wood or a hybrid. And this is something, again, which just by changing how you stand to the ball, changing your setup and your posture, it's always going to help getting the strike on it. We spoke ball position as well in a, in a, a lesson off camera. A lot of people think that Every time you hit a ball, it's on camera. We tried to... Try to keep some of my life private. Try to keep a little bit private, yeah. So, uh, ball position was a big thing to help you as well, wasn't it? And there's nothing yeah. more basic than talking where a ball goes in a stance, both front to back, and giving yourself a bit extra room, like Dalton told us to earlier. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just cutting corner, hopefully. Yep. Over a tree. So, let's check that alignment. Yep, yeah, maybe a touch left if... There you go, perfect. So again, we're just checking that. Ball position looks good, nice and forward. Nice smooth swing and keep that tempo. So good. Really good. It's got the left to right shape on it, we know that, we're fine with that. It's in play. It's in play. Yep, good man. And the big thing here, like we look at how many penalty strokes Foxy was suffering from as well with the shots going through. It was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. just by keeping the ball in play, you're going to be saving yourself loads of shots. Handicap's going to come flying down and you'll be beating Gaz before you know it, which isn't that hard. I'm going to say, to be fair. <laughs> well, that's another fairway here. Only just, but big difference this time of year because when you're on the fairway, obviously, you get the luxury of getting rid of those, which aren't ideal. Right. Give yourself that bit of room as well. You've basically got the world left, haven't you, realistically? Yeah. Your bad shot's the right one here. So I'm aiming a little bit left anyway. I'd aim straight over that big tree. Yeah. Yep. Which is where your alignment is there, that's nice. 
touch my room. I know it feels weird, but good. It feels so weird. It feels like I'm almost falling over. But That's I good though, because you, you're I'm, athletic I'm, still, so you're not falling over. Working stuff, working yeah. things I've not really worked properly. And then you hit that, how goes that? This could be very close, actually. Oh, it's just short. Oh. It's going to just come down that bank as well. That's unlucky. But You're taking it, are you? I'm smiling on my face. Exactly, and very rare we see that anymore. But no, especially with golf. <laughs> especially with golf. But the big thing here is you have to accentuate it. You have to over-exaggerate it, because otherwise I could, have, I could have stayed quiet there and it could have hit a bad shot. We could have gone, mm, nearly. But that's not why we're here. We're here to improve. Yeah. I'm not here to be his mate. I'm here to help him at the moment. So when we play 18 holes, that's where I might try and let him work it out for yourself, like we have done this morning. I've not told you much, because if I told you everything or told you something every time I saw you, you'd be bored of it. I'd be like, sure up. Yeah, so I get that enough as well. That was desperately unlucky, and it's actually left quite a difficult chip. So one thing that we've looked at in regards to the short game is, is just proper proper stripping it right back to basic standing a little bit narrower weight on that left side for a right-handed golfer and making sure we're using the right club yeah just really leaning into it what club have you got here i've got a little 56 okay a bit short-sided it's not a nasty little chip a little bit short-sided so landing zone's not massive with a 56 there's a big ridge at the back of the green so if we are going to use your shots i think you go just left and long of it as long as you keep that weight on the left side and get the strike, that's perfect. Lovely. That's a great shot. A little bit long, like we said, but the, the other option, the other option you've got from here is just to use a seven or an eight iron and bounce it up the hill. So weight left, nice and narrow, almost like a putt. And you can see that just kind of scoots up there. I've actually done quite well there. Is it going to come back? Might just hang on. Just. just hung on and that the thing is with that is you are using things with that is a percentage play but generally it's a lot easier than returning the loft on a 56 so all things you can work on during the off season and again just going back to a little bit more of the basics having a play with different things yep come then oh tell you what we're getting better, aren't we? Getting a lot better, and even these ones, these ones used to cause you a bit of a problem. I'm not going to say you hold all of them, but the routine is certainly helping. Help next year when I want to start playing a bit more metal. Instead of just walking up and hoping for the best. Oh, like, even a lap for the fans. I like how you did that. I'll tell you what, my heart jumps a little bit then. <laughs> And it's worth noting that if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen Foxy's kind of progress, Foxy isn't new to golf anymore. He's still working on getting the handicap down, but you've played events, you've won an event, you won your first ever event you played in, so he can play, but it's not a negative thing going back to a couple of basics, especially at this time of year in the off-season, because that's how you improve, that's how you get better. We all need to sometimes take a couple of steps back, take stock of where we are, what we've achieved, but make sure we're doing those things right before we build on them. Yeah, just pull out of them bad habits you might pick to plonk where. So the foundations are mega, mega, mega important for the golf swing, and without them, it crumbles. No, you're not crumbled. Not crumbled, but Gaz I'm, has crumbled. I'm halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry, Gaz. I'm not. Nothing says winter and November like a mat and a par three. Well, that's fine. We use it all to. Try and improve what have you got? A little gap wedge? A little 52 gap wedge. It's about yeah. 100 yards, this, so probably the right club for it. Love that. Miles better rotation with this new setup. Just allows a little it's bit. Just more. allowing your weight transfer to be so much better. There, so it's that reach there. Yeah. Stop moving. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Love it. Tiny bit short, but that's not bad. It was a lovely strike. And it's funny because you were actually partial to the occasional hosel rocket, weren't you? Whereas mm. now we're, we're not seeing any of them at all. Not, not so far. And it's going to give us much more scope moving forward to work on swing path, to work on maybe shot shaping eventually and things like that. Things that will really help him get that handicap down into the teens from the 20s. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to see if can finish off with maybe even a birdie on this little short par three and that'd be level par three holes off 26 that's uh 
pretty crazy actually thinking about it. Yeah, and that's where he always plays better when I'm not playing and I'm just kind of basically caddying for you or coaching you along because you actually pick the shots better and then hit them better. Just better? Be just better, just better, just a lot better. Hmm. So again here, it's a nice little short chip onto a temporary green, but you're still going to think about those basics. You're still going to think about where your weight distribution is, what club to use. So we'll go back to, we're not going to go down the 60 route just because I am partial to the old knife. Yep. So we're going to go 56, a little bit of loft, but just only... Probably land it around where that leaf is, yeah. maybe that one. Little bit fiery. Yeah, not bad though. Or it's a say. put. It could have checked, wouldn't it? Another day that would have spun and been a little bit closer, right? I think what we'll do is we'll see that in and then we'll ask guys for you to get in the comments one more time and let us know what you're working on in your golf game throughout the off season. Oh, it needed a hit in. That's another one for the short category. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed that. Well done, mate. Cheers, some good stuff there. Some improved, some drastic improvements, to be fair, as well to you. Huge thanks to the guys at ShotScope for sponsoring this series. Hopefully, guys, you're enjoying watching. I'm enjoying watching it. I think it's good. I think when you can actually piece together what's happening, it makes it easier for me, easier for you, and hopefully easier for you guys to watch as well. Mm. Guys, smash that subscribe button, leave us a like, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.